See if we had here, Metro Line of Martial Arts here with Eli. We're going to be working a dirty boxing combination to a takedown today, so stay tuned. So I'm here with Eli. Now, when we're doing kickboxing, sometimes we get really close to each other, and depending on the rule set, means we can't clinch. Ideally, if I'm here and I get this close, I want to clinch in some fashion, whether it's the double plumb, where I can go here, or if it's a like single collar, or something like that. But sometimes rule set's like, hey, don't do that. Alex Overing ruins it for everybody because he's just too good, so you can't do two on, on one head. You can do like, dry, like um, one on one here or something like that, but sometimes even that doesn't work. So if I'm here, sometimes I get super close to him like so, okay? Where my knee's on the inside, my shoulder's on the inside here, but we're kind of stuck. Now whether that means we're stuck against the ropes or we're stuck just in the middle, like he won't move. Like it's like, a, what do they call it? Newton's law, right? Or, I don't know, I'm not smart. So when I'm here and I, I close the distance, boom, now we're here. Now we have to deal with this range here. So the easy way is to kind of create some space is to use my shoulder and my knee here. I bump, there I can hit and come right back. Like let's say he's beat me up on the outside like Eli does. Boom. He's beating me up, just keep me. I don't, want to do, I don't want that anymore. So now I'm close. Okay. Once I'm here, now I'm oh, close. Then he tries to run away. I'm like, no, I stay close. Okay, he's my friend. I don't want him to go anywhere. Not I keep track of him with my tricep here. Like that, I grab with his tricep. My hand on his tricep. So that way if he tries to run away, it's stuck to me. Okay. From here, now, depending on the rule set, will depend on how I can take him down. If the rule set's kind of loose, I can use this to bump him to create a little bit of space, keep that here, and dump him down. There. Now it looks like one of those weird, weird magic takedowns, and it kind of is. It's kind of kind of bullshit. But magic. It's magic. But when I'm here, I kind of have it like I'm gonna kill a chicken. Apparently that's how you do it, or here. So I'm gonna kill the chicken here, keeping it on tricep, keeping the cut, and then I drop like a sack of potatoes. Now, some rule sets might be like, you can't use that. It depends. Some really don't like sweeps. You know, some don't like holding and then going for it. This one might be okay. Just depends. Ask your local referee. Okay? Once I'm here, I pull him down like that. And he sits. And then, depending on the rule set, you can follow up or you can storm off like, you did it or you didn't do it. One of the two, however you want to view it. So, he does it to me. He closes the distance. However, and now he's close. He gets that trapped, trapped the tricep there, and then he pulls it down, just like that. Man, he has shit on neck. So nice, okay? But that might not be kosher, okay? They might not be able to accept this as a valid sweep. They might just consider it a, like actually a penalty against you. So when you get that close, oh man, now I'm here. You get that close, now you can start to play the game where you're here. You get back like that. That may or may not work, but sometimes once you're here and you have the back, now you can start to put that weight up, keep the leg up, and switch hands here. And now I'm here, okay? And then touch, you go down. Okay. Or once I'm in like close, like so, if I have standard clinch, now this changes a lot of things. But we're talking kickboxing, so generally this type of clinch would just be broken up. Because this is all we got, right? Maybe a knee. He's got a straight up knee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, that's why you wear a cup. Now, uh, but um, the idea here is you want to make sure you can utilize this space here with some valid control. Now, when he's here, he can still hit me in the back of the head, but yeah, but that's illegal. Okay, we're using the rules against us. When he's here and he hits me in the back of the head, boom. You call it to the ref. You're like, dude, ref. <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. But if I keep my head here, it's harder for him to hit. If it's here, yeah, he can hit me right there. Right? Next thing, depending on, again, the rule set, is I can move him away, go straight for the ankle kick. Here, and now it can come in and go for there. That's, like, really classic. Now, I can do a whole thing about attacks from here, but other people talk about it better than I do. Maybe, maybe in the next video. But the idea from here is to keep this control. 
okay? Use that in your next sparring. Get somebody against the wall, beat them up, and then keep them close, and then walk away from the wall. See what happens when you start pulling them around with it. Because like, they could be stronger and bigger than you and they pull you immediately away, but now you have the follow-ups. You can go, okay? So, Eli? Like and subscribe. Make sure you uh, hit the bell so you never miss this handsome face. And that being said, <laughs> I ran away. Uh <laughs>